Hello Year 8 and welcome to the final presentation on the question of why did the English Reformation happen. In this presentation we're going to be bringing together all the different things we've been looking at over the last few weeks of lessons to prepare you for an assessment which you'll be working on during next week. So the first thing to do just before we move on from this question of why did the English Reformation happen is just to get really clear in our head what that word Reformation means. So the definition is there for you to read and it is essentially just changing an organisation and in this instance we're talking about the Catholic Church. So the English Reformation was when in England the Catholic Church was changed from what it was into a new church known as the Church of England. So we're going to go through some of the reasons now. We're going to start with the main reason, so the main man himself, which is Henry VIII. The first reason is linked to Henry VIII very very closely and it is to do with his marriage to this lady Catherine of Aragon. So as we've established in previous presentations, Catherine of Aragon and Henry VIII had actually been married for quite a long time and they'd actually had one child, Mary. Now, whilst that was a happy occasion, it wasn't what Henry wanted. He desperately wanted a son. He felt that the only person that could take over from him when he died was a boy and he wanted that son desperately. Catherine of Aragon was going to have no more children, so because of that, he needed to divorce Catherine of Aragon so that he could hopefully find a new partner that could give birth to the son he so desperately needed. Now, the only person that could give him the divorce he so desperately wanted was the Pope. The Pope was the head of the Catholic Church, controlled all the Catholics, and basically made the rules. And one of the rules he made was that Henry was not going to be able to get divorced from Catherine of Aragon. Now, an extra little side story to this is at the time that Henry was trying to ask the Pope, Pope Clement VII, for a divorce, Catherine of Aragon's relative, Charles V, just there over in the right-hand corner, was holding the Pope captive. He was holding him hostage, basically. Charles V had taken over Rome, had taken over the Vatican City, and Clement was basically, the Pope was basically his prisoner. So whilst Henry was trying to get the divorce he so desperately wanted that the Pope didn't really want to give him anyway, Catherine's relative was also holding the Pope as prisoner. So that was a major problem for Henry VIII. Linked to all of this was the new lady in his life, a lady called Anne Boleyn, who Henry had fallen in love with. And he was desperate to divorce Catherine of Aragon so that the child that Anne Boleyn was currently pregnant with could be crowned as the next, hopefully the next king of England. As it turns out, Anne Boleyn's child was a girl, another daughter, and became Queen Elizabeth I of England, but it wasn't what Henry VIII wanted. Anyway, we're going to leave that story here. We're not going to go into all the different whys of Henry VIII at this stage, just that Anne Boleyn and his love for Anne Boleyn and the fact that she could give him a son, how he, so he hoped, was another reason for the English Reformation. Moving away from Henry VIII and his wives slightly, we come to other reasons that are linked to the English Reformation. It's up to you to decide whether you think these are the main reasons. And it's to do with this man here. This is Thomas Cromwell, Henry VIII's main advisor, his right-hand man. And Thomas Cromwell was given the job, after Henry VIII had broken away from the Catholic Church, broken away from Rome, he was given the job of investigating the different monasteries around England, because it was felt that the monks were misbehaving. It was also felt that the monasteries were incredibly rich and also were going to be completely loyal to the Pope, Pope Clement VII. So Thomas Cromwell sent out his investigators and put together a, a report that resulted in, for whatever reason was given, it resulted in the dissolution of the monasteries. And here we see a, a monastery that is still around today, but obviously not uh, how it would have looked at the time. So there we go again. Power money, dissolution of the monasteries, was that the reason why Henry VIII decided to break away from Rome? And we come to the final reason. Was it because of religion? Here we see a picture of Henry VIII with Jane Seymour, his third wife, who eventually gave him the son that he so desperately needed, Edward. When we come to religion, we looked in a previous lesson at the changes that Henry VIII made, and the changes Henry VIII made actually were more to do with who controlled it and who controlled the money and very, very little to do with the beliefs. He did very little to get rid of 
Catholicism and the ideas of the Catholic Church, and that was actually down to his son Edward. So, in summary, the reasons for the English Reformation are the fact that Henry wanted to divorce Catherine of Aragon and desperately needed a son. Tied in with that was the fact that he had fallen in love with Anne Boleyn. He also needed and desired more money and power. And then the final reason, and again it's up to you to decide, is was it religion? Was religion the thing that was driving Henry VIII and the changes he made to the church in England?